Hello and welcome back to our open form series where today we want to see how to run a case in parallel with multiple CPUs. And for this um, we can increase the speed of the, simula of the calculation uh, dramatically. So what we have to do is we have to go into the systems folder and uh, add the decompose pardict file. Um, this can be uh, downloaded uh, somewhere or you use my github repository where I, ha I have included uh, this file also. And uh, in the file I have um, added the steps that are necessary. So it's not uh, difficult, it's very easy. You can uh, run your uh, import your mesh, like I showed in the previous tutorials, uh, like normal. Um, and you can run, of course, the interform, uh, for example, like normal on one processor, like everything, uh, like like always. And uh, if you want to start the parallel uh, calculation, you need to go into the case directory. And so we go back here in the case directory and you have to enter decompose par in the terminal. But first you need, of course, like I said, this file here, the decompose par dict. Uh, if you don't have this file, it will get an error. And in this file, uh, maybe first we can go through this, you have uh, only two things in the beginning that you need to adjust. And this is firstly the number of subdomains. That means the number of CPUs you can use on your system. And I found uh, if in my experience that you can use half of your CPU cores. So without uh, error. So you can use 50% of the CPU in, in general. Uh, if you go higher, it gets an error for me too, but it's depending on your system. In my case, uh, 16 CPU cores can be used. And I use the simple method. Um, and the simple method makes it very easy. It just splits the mesh that you have imported, like always, uh, into separate areas. And for each area, you will get a subdirectory. Um, corresponding to your number of CPUs. So when you have uh, 16, for example, or four or eight, uh, like you want, uh, then you get four, eight or 16 uh, subdirectories. And the most important thing you have to uh, adjust here in the simple, because we use a simple method, you have to enter the simple, uh, uh, the simple QFs and in this uh, uh, part, we have uh, the, uh, a mesh that is long in the X direction and not so high and not so deep. So I chose to split the mesh in 16 areas on the X direction and only one for the other uh, dimensions. So you need 16 parts because you have 16 uh, CPUs. If you have a different mesh that is more more deep or more high, you can uh, adjust here also the X and Y um, dimensions, but then you have to uh, uh, have a look that the sum of the parts is not exceeding, uh, is exactly 16 in this example. Okay. Well, this is this is easy because this is one one we have can uh, have the whole 16 cpus parts in the x direction okay and when you have uh, made these settings here you have to save uh, the decompose par dict file and uh, then you have to run uh, decompose par we can do that and we go back here in the terminal run decompose par and then you will see here that uh, he's created processor 0 to 15 so 16 processor subdirectories and 
that's the first step. And the second run, uh, is you cannot run R. I will change it here to interform. Um, you cannot run interform on its own. You have to run uh, this MPI run. And the number of processors is 16. I have to adjust that here for this case. And then interform the so the solver and then add a dash parallel. So he will run in parallel. So we copy everything here and paste it into the terminal. And then he is calculating and I opened here a second terminal window where you can see that the Interform Solver uses uh, all these threads here and you have the CPU usage from 50% which is much more than when you run on a single core uh, then you have only 3 or 5% or depending on your system. Yes, so this runs very fast and when you have a look inside the single processor uh, subfolders it will generate uh, time step folders here inside and every processor will create time steps inside this folder. Uh, and because the time steps are all are here separated into the subfolders, Paraview cannot uh, post process these. So I will interrupt here. Um, and when you want to post process, you have to run the reconstruct par. That means he will reconstruct uh, all the subfolders into the main folder, like we can see now. And he will get the time step folders like you know, like, like normal in open form into the case folder. And then you can run paraform like normal and have a look at your case and the first steps here. So um, yes, in this example we have shown how to run in parallel and that's it. So have a good time with your faster calculations.